Hi, I'm Giulio Toffoli, project leader of Jaspersa Studio, and in this video we will see how to organize the repository for Jasper Reports IO. We will in this video see how to create the repository. We will propose a way to properly organize the content inside the repository. We will create a data adapter in order to get data for our reports. We will import some assets such as images and fonts and we will, will and we will see how to create a context XML in order to customize the properties of the execution for a specific folder and also to use uh, our font extension. So let's get started. We start creating our repository for Jasper Reports IO by creating a new project. I will call this project repo and it will be of type Jasper Reports Project. So the name is repo. Of course, you can choose whatever name you want. And I will set this project to be of repository type Jasper Reports IO. Now, by default, the root of our repository is the root of the project. This is convenient, but in general, I prefer to change the root by creating a new folder called repository. Again, this is not mandatory, but it allows me to have other folders in which I may want to store assets that are not related to um, my specific repository, but just to store temporary assets that I may uh, use uh, during reports development. Since I created a different repository root, I need to inform Jaspersoft Studio about this change. So I will go to Properties, Jaspersoft Studio, Jasper Reports IO, and I add this folder repository to the list of roots that makes up my repository. Uh, yeah, this is another notion. Uh, a repository may have several roots. But for simplicity, we will use a single root repository. Before creating content, such as our new report, we want to create a few subfolders where we may want to store resources. Now, the first folder is we will that we will create uh, that we will create is called data adapters, and this is the folder where we will store our data adapters. Now, I don't want to be uh, too much specific now, but a data adapter is what allows our reports to get the data. We will create a data adapter in a few minutes. Let's uh, continue by creating other folders for our assets. We may want to create an uh, uh, images folder. Also, we may want to create a uh, fonts folder where we will add our fonts extensions and finally we will create a new folder to store our reports called reports okay so let's start by creating a very simple report inside our reports folder we will use a blank report so the name could be something like test. After all, this is just a test that to check that everything works. I can see here in the corner that I'm inside the Jasper Reports IO environment. So let's add some content to our report just to again check that everything works as expected. And now we will preview the report. Now, when we preview the report without saying anything, there will be no data provided to the report. And in fact, what I expect here is an error that I'm not getting any page. Here is the report is empty. So in order to create a report without data, I need to inform just reports that I want to print all the sections of my report when there is no data. In that case, I will print just the title section, summary, the page header and footer and so on, but not 
the bands, the sections that are usually printed uh, when, uh, when I have data. Okay, so my environment works. Let's continue by adding some, uh, some data to our report. So the first step is to create a data adapter. Now for people using Jaspersoft Studio, it's used to see the data adapters inside the repository explorer. But this data adapter does not work directly with the Jasper Reports I.O. In fact, when I preview my report here, I don't have any data adapter to choose from. And this because my repository currently does not contain any data adapter. So in order to add a data adapter to our repository, we will start by exporting one of our data adapters in Jaspersoft Studio as a file. And we will add this file to our repository. So in that case, repo repository, that's the root of our repository, data adapters. Inside this folder, I will store my Postgres.xml, which is the XML representation of this data adapter. Okay, so let's move to the project explorer and inside the data adapters, I see now Postgres.xml. Now, if I double click this, uh, Jaspersoft Studio will open up the typical UI to configure a data adapter. Okay, so let's go back to our report. Let's go in design mode. And uh, at this point, we can use a query. Here in the list of available data adapters, we see Postgres. So let's select star from orders. Let's read the fields. Okay, and we have seen this. Now that we have a few fields coming from our query, we can add them to our report. And we can try to run that. Still, we don't see data here. Why? Because we still have to specify how to connect this this uh, data adapters to this report. Yes, we use this dialog to do to specify which data adapter we want to use uh, to get the fields from the query. But still, we did on that we did not have said to Jasper uh, to Jasper report say, yo, hey, this report at runtime should use that particular data adapters. This can be done by selecting the root of the report and setting the property default data adapter. So in some way, this is just like telling which data source should be used to run a particular report. Now, uh, when I select the data adapter with, uh, with this widget, which is the open uh, resource dialog of, uh, of Jaspersoft Studio, the pad that is uh, provided by Studio also includes the root of my project. So here you see this double, uh, this point point here. But since our root of, uh, the, since our repository root does not include the folder repository, but it starts by data adapters, Postgres XML, I will remove this two point here. So our the, the correct path inside the repository of our data adapter is just slash data adapters uh, slash Postgres XML. Okay, let's try to run this report another time. Again, and we see that now we have all our data in the report. Let's proceed by adding some extra resources to our, uh, to our report. Uh, the next resource we want to import is an image. So here I have a few images that we may want to use in our report. So the first step is to import them into the, repo the, the repository. So let's import this, uh, this image here inside the folder images. I want to copy the file inside my, my project. 
we can we can also rename this so let's rename analytics very simple okay and now we drag this image inside our report just like uh, the path of the data adapter also when we import images in this way we need to fix the path that is created for us which includes also the, the folder repository since the root is the repository folder we may just want to have slash images slash analytics dot png and here as the image properly uh, found by the JaspersOft Studio Designer. We previewed this report and now we should see our image appearing. And here we go. Okay, um, let's do something a little bit more advanced now. We want to use a custom font for our report. So in order to add a font, we need to create a font extension. To create a font extension, we use the utilities provided by JasperSoft Studio by going to Preferences and uh, Fonts. Here we are, JasperSoft Studio Fonts. Here we can add a font from either a pad or from a URL, which is very convenient when you're getting the file, for example, from, uh, from a website. So here I have a website uh, of free fonts or maybe not totally free, but in that case, we're just trying to use them for, for as an example. So I right click this and I copy my link address for the zip that contains all the fonts for this, uh, all, all the archive for this, uh, for this fonts. So let's add from URL. I will paste this and finish. Now JasperSoft Studio will download the zip file and will import all the fonts that are contained. Okay, uh, the one I want is actually Velocity Demo. So I select Velocity Demo and I export this. We can click Apply and then export this as a font extension. Now here I am inside my workspace. I have some extra projects here, but uh, here we are. So I will go to repo, repository, fonts, and here I will save my jar. Why a jar? A jar is uh, an extension for Jasper reports. So when we create the, the extension, uh, Jasper Soft Studio will create a jar file. And here uh, I can just say my jar my font sorry my font dot jar okay let's save this apply and close now in order for this jar to work we need to configure our repository to extend the class path that is uh, available for the execution to include our font uh, actually this extension so to do that we will create our first context xml we can do that by creating new, other, and in the JasperSoft Studio section, we see here Jasper Reports IO Report Execution Context. We specify the folder in which we want to create this uh, context XML. And in that case, we will use the root of the repository, which is the repository folder. Now, uh, you can see JasperSoft Studio created for us a JRINF folder. And inside this folder, there is a context XML, which is what I'm going to edit by, by using this, uh, this uh, UI. So in the class path, I want to add my font jar. And in this case, the path is correct. OK, we have configured this uh, repository to use uh, this font actually this font extension so we can now change the font of our text field and of course once done uh, the first time i can use my font extension uh, for all the repository okay so i go to the 
static test configuration and uh, I will select my velocity demo font and I will use something like uh, probably 70 should be okay maybe too big uh, let's try this all right let's uh, preview now this report the report will be automatically saved and you, here you can see that this HTML based browser uh, which is backended by Jasper Reports IO properly shows our font. Okay, so we can uh, summarize this uh, this presentation. Uh, we created a repository from scratch. We created our first data adapters. We also added a new font extension and used an image in our report that is using an, an SQL query to get the data out of uh, our Postgres connection.